In this video, we are going to look at a quick way that we can find the vertical asymptotes of a tangent graph by using the equation. So all we'll do is apply the horizontal transformations or the inputs into the tangent function. Uh, we'll apply those transformations to the vertical asymptotes of the parent graph y equals tangent x. So in this general form equation, we see that bx minus c, those are our horizontal transformations, and so to apply them to our parent asymptotes, which are pi over 2 plus pi k, all we need to do is set them equal to each other. And then we'll solve for x. So before we see an example of this, note that k is an integer, and you are creating an asymptote generating equation. So if you substitute in different integers for k, you'll get different asymptotes along the graph. Um, and we'll look at that as we um, look at our example as well. All right, so here's an example where we will find the asymptotes from this particular equation, y equals 1 half tangent of 3x plus pi over 4 minus 2. So remember, we want to take the inputs of the tangent function. These are our horizontal transformations. So we know we have both a shift and a horizontal compression going on here. So we take those 3x plus pi over 4, and we set them equal to pi over 2 plus pi k, where k is an integer. And so now we need to solve for x. So we're going to start by subtracting pi over 4 from both sides. And notice that pi over 4 is a like term with pi over 2 but not with pi k. That k messes it up and it's not a like term, so we don't even have to worry about that. All right, so subtract pi over four from both sides. On the left side, you're left with three x. And if you wanna do a little scratch work out to the side, we have pi over two minus pi over four. Um, if you can just look at that and see that's pi over four, great. If you need a common denominator, also good. We rewrite pi over two as two pi over four. And we see on the right side, we come up with pi over 4, and then that plus pi k stays still because it is its own type of term. All right, and the final thing we need to do to get our asymptote generating equation is divide both sides by 3. So make sure you divide every single term by 3. So I like to write that out sometimes. You can write as multiplying by 1 third as well, whatever is best for you. And we get the equation x equals pi over 12 plus pi over 3k. Now at this point, a great thing to double check is your k term, plus or minus whatever k, that should be plus your period k or minus your period k. If it's not, then something went wrong, double check your algebra. So now this equation, x equals pi over 12 plus pi over 3k, will generate every single asymptote. We know there are infinitely many vertical asymptotes for a tangent graph since they are uh, trigonometric graphs. They repeat, they're cyclical. Um, so we have to know how to use this equation for it to be helpful. And all you have to do is substitute in different values of k and you'll get different asymptotes for the graph. So let's start by substituting in k equals zero. Okay, so if we say k is going to be zero, we have x equals pi over 12 plus pi over three times zero, which of course makes that whole term zero, and we're left with an asymptote at x equals pi over 12. Okay, so now let's say we want to find another vertical asymptote. This one will be to the right of the k equals zero asymptote. Let's do k equals one. All right, so all you have to do is substitute one into the equation where k is. So we have x equals pi over 12 plus this time pi over three times one. Okay, so we need a common denominator here. Let's rewrite pi over three as four pi over 12. So our next asymptote, as we work to the right, so for the next cycle, will be at five pi over 12. And notice that that's a period away, that's equal to pi over three away, because all we did was add pi over three to pi over 12. All right, um, let's say we wanted to go in the other direction. Let's let k equal to negative one, okay, because k can be any integer. Um, and so we should expect this asymptote to be pi over three away from pi over 12, our k equals zero asymptote, 
but just to the left this time. So let's see what happens when we calculate. We have x equals pi over 12 plus pi over 3 times negative 1. Okay, we need that common denominator here. So we'd have minus, rewrite it as 4 pi over 12. So we have pi over 12 minus 4 pi over 12. So that's negative 3 pi over 12, or that reduces to negative pi over 4. So you can see you can generate an infinite number of vertical asymptotes for this tangent graph just by substituting in different integers for k. Now let's go ahead and look at a sketch of this graph. And we can see here are some of those asymptotes we talked about. So we have our asymptote generating equation and we substitute it in to find the asymptote at pi over 12. That was when k equaled zero. Okay, that was k equals zero. At five pi over 12, that was when k equaled one. At negative pi over four, or negative three pi over 12, that was when k equaled negative one. And so hopefully you're imagining this pattern would continue and if you substitute in negative two for k, you'd get the vertical asymptote at negative seven pi over 12. So it takes some getting used to, but you have the trick to find the asymptote generating equation and hopefully now you feel really comfortable with how to use this equation as well. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps you feel more comfortable finding the vertical asymptotes of tangent graphs. Uh, check out the video description for links to other examples um, and how to graph tangent graphs and other trig functions.